jump over brick handle. Ah. What's going on, you guys? Terrence Bud Crawford comes out and says that we are at the end. What does this mean? Hit that like button for your boy. We're on Bushido Boxing TV. This is where we're going to be. Terrence Crawford comes out with a, I guess you could say, cryptic tweet saying that we are at the end. Now, what does that mean, right? And if you follow Terrence Crawford previously, um, he seemed to be pretty upset about his, his current situation. Um, his home got invaded or something like that, and they stole some jewelry. Then he put out a $100,000 reward for any information pertaining who broke into his house. And then followed after that, he had some pretty, I could just, one may say, disturbing tweets, right? Um, um, disturbing tweets, right? I mean, I guess one may say disturbing is the word. I don't, I'm not, I don't think Terrence Crawford was going to do what he tweeted, but he's probably pretty upset about the fact that you know, somebody broke into his crib and stole some of his jewelry. That's probably custom made. Um, but he said something about going back to the dark corner. Uh, he don't want to have to go back to that dark place, that dark corner again. Basically basically saying that I don't want to have to go back to being that guy. Right. But since then, Terrence Crawford tweeted, we are at the end with a wink emoji. And that spells good news. Right. That spells good news because Terrence Crawford seemed to be pretty irritated prior. But now the energy is different. And like I told you guys a couple of weeks ago, I got that phone call. I got the phone call that this fight is a go. I got the phone call saying it is a 50-50 thing and that they pretty much working out a few small details and they should be fighting somewhere in June or July, right? Sure enough, this is what Bo Mack said. Sure enough, Errol Spence came out with some tweets, you know, and it, and it seemed like the energy was good, right? It seemed like the energy was good from Spence. Dude said, and now she fight. He said, no, right? So, yeah, these guys are going to be tight-lipped until it's officially time to announce it. This is what your boy Bushido is believing. I don't think Terrence Bud Crawford would come out with such a... What word I want to use? He, he wouldn't come out with such a tweet to mislead the fans, right? Because Terrence Bud Crawford, he's not in, in the best of light in the eyes of many boxing fans right now, right? Because of how this thing played out. No matter which narrative you believe, um, Terrence Bud Crawford is kind of looked at um, as a guy who's, you know, don't want to fight nobody, right? So I think I think it'd be detrimental for Terrence Crawford to troll fans with a, but with, with something so subtle, something so cryptic, and then it's really about Alexis Rocha, because that's not a fight people want to see. People are on the edge of the cliff waiting for this announcement between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. They're not waiting on the edge for an announcement for Alexis Rocha. So I highly doubt. Terrence Crawford would come out and try to uh, uh, tweet or have a cryptic tweet about a Rocha fight. That's not something fans were looking forward to. In reality, that fight was just a mandatory, a stay busy type of fight. And really is a fight that Terrence Crawford could just take just simply because he isn't under a stable full of fighters. And at 35 years old, being an independent fighter, you got to have many fights lined up as you can get. So, yeah, um, the Spence fight is the priority. Your Spence fight is what's happening next. Yeah, that's right. I'm not, I'm not looking for anything else. I know a lot of boxing fans have have since um, got kind of tired with this whole process. And, you know, and I was with you guys, you know. I, I, I was fed up. I'm tired of it too. But something like, you know what? Nah, man, I put a lot into this. I've been talking about this fight, these two fighters, for some years on both channels. <laughs> Thousands of videos, probably. And I'm not giving up now. So, yeah, I think it's going down. I don't think they go going to let boxing fans down. They know that boxing needs this fight. This is a fight that boxing needs, not just the fighters and the suits, but this is a fight the whole sport needs. So, yeah, I didn't think Terrence Crawford and Errol Spencer let the fans down. It was just a matter of the business or whatever else getting right. And they seem to have gotten it right. So, yeah, man, salute to both fighters, right? I'm giving them, I'm giving them their props early because I already know this thing is about to get announced. Yeah, that's right. It's about to get announced. If it's Rocha, <laughs> I don't know, leave it in the comment section. If I'm wrong, right? If it's end up being Rocha, leave it in the comment section what I should do. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do something. I'm going to have to eat some crow, do something. But I'm telling you guys right now that this Spence fight with Crawford is about to go down. It's about to get announced soon. Just wait for it. So, yeah, tell me what you guys think. What is... What does we are at the end means to you? I think it means that we are at the end of negotiations and I cannot wait to announce this fight. Like, subscribe, hot your boy. Peace out.